So basically, this is a video about Elden Ring being too hard. It's not. Uh, I'll link it in chat in a second if you want to watch the full thing. But this little clip set the internet ablaze. Especially where gaming is concerned. There are long-term disabilities. There are situational disabilities. There are temporary disabilities. It counts as a disability where a video game like Elden Ring is concerned if you have a kid. You have a two-year-old, you're trying to play Elden Ring, you can't pause. It is a situational disability that you have, where the game not having the option for you to be able to pause, for example, is a hindrance for your particular disability, a situational disability. You may need to... Now, people immediately got caught up on the word disability, right? And <clears throat> I can see where they're coming from. And I don't know if this is like a language thing or what. I do think like the word disability is a bit like in this context, it does sound like a little bit extreme, but... I think the idea she's trying to get across is like, I mean, yeah. You know why I stopped raiding in World of Warcraft? Because I couldn't commit to a raid schedule. These things in video games are things that like actually harm your like possibility to, to play the game. That is also why I don't normally queue into like super competitive games anymore. Because there are sometimes just these, like for a competitive game, you need 60 minutes of uninterrupted time always. You can't just, like, answer a phone call. You can't run off. You need to be there. Like, you're locked in. I can't do that sometimes. So I don't play the game. I think people are really, really sticking on the word. Like, <laughs> calling a kid a disability is, like, a bit, you know... I don't know if it's a language thing, right? Because in Latvian, the word disability, I'm pretty sure in English, that exact word is, like, very, very offensive. So I'm not going to say it. I think I'm, I think so anyway. I don't know. It's like cultural things. Because like the word in Latvian is just a word people use and it's like no big deal at all. Uh, I don't know if it's like a cultural thing or what. But I think it's like just, just the word people got caught up on. I don't think saying pausing the game is like some sort of big stretch. It, it's silly to me. Why shouldn't a game have a pause menu? And like the thing that I saw on Twitter as well is people saying it, you can't actually pause. You just need to like open a menu and go in like... I think it was... um. If you go into tutorials, your game pauses. So functionally, there is already the possibility to pause the game. You know? So why are we jumping through hoops to just not say, okay, why shouldn't we have a pause button? You know? This is like such a small little thing. I don't know why it became controversy. Yeah, there definitely could have been like different words. And that's why I'm saying. I don't know if this is like a language issue. If this is like a context issue. If this is like a cultural issue. Like, that exact phrasing is a bit, is a bit, like, yikes. But, I don't know. I, I don't think it was meant to be, <laughs> like, so extreme, you know? Yes, you could also open the task manager and actually pause processes. You can also do that. I never do it because sometimes, like, at least in my experience, it tends to mess things up, so I don't do that. Maybe it's just me and my PC is, like, uh, is, like, on its back legs. I don't know. But, you can do it. This, this, this was very, very controversial for some reason. And like, yeah, like with kids, I can imagine, like I, I say me, I live alone, I'm fine, right? But even I can sometimes commit to like these longer sessions. So pause buttons, being able to just like not commit to a game, yada yada, all of these things are things that would like increase accessibility, if you can call it that, right? It's like not really accessibility in the way we normally use the word, but it is accessibility, right? I don't see why this became a controversy. <laughs> I don't. Uh, the issue that people uh, have with it is that they think uh, being able to change equipment while paused uh, would break the game, but like just use the pause menu entirely separate from these mechanics. Yes. Yes. And you can always have the possibility to pause, be locked to like some sort of some sort of combat state, right? Like in the same way you can open a map while you're in combat, you just you just can't pause while you're in combat. You know, we don't need like a perfect solution where you can just pause the game and look at the screen and think about what you're going to do next. Like, we don't need that. We just need a functional way to pause, like, when we when you're in a dungeon or something. And you don't want to, like, get jumped by something. It's really not a big deal. Especially, like, because there is already a functional way to do it. Just just make it a button. 